fuck's sake. Okay, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Juan John John, and welcome back to my channel. So this is a bit of a different video. Had a bit of technical difficulties with my modular, which is right over here. Was expecting to get a sequencer, but unfortunately, I guess like the second after I hit the putting cart button, it ran out of stock, so they couldn't send it to me. But you know, it they. You know, it's out, it should be coming in in the next few days, so, you know, while we do that, and also aforementioned technical difficulties that left me without being able to play my modular, but it's back, so we're going to be doing things again. But in the meantime, I decided to do, maybe I should do, that's a scratchy metal noise, we need to take care of that, I don't know if you can actually hear that, but we'll take care of it. I presume the microphone's picking it up, because I can hear it. So anyways, I wanted to talk about just some of the gear I'm using then, because I have a couple of modules and I want to talk about my experience and my just thoughts on them and such. But first I want to talk about this thing. This thing right here. This is the Spire Studio. This is what I use to record all of my noises before I use the Roland Go Mixer, which is this nice little mixer for on the go. It's worked really well. It can run off of battery or you can just hook it directly into your phone. And it worked pretty well. It was a pretty good little tool, but I had a couple of issues with it. Number one was that the audio quality wasn't the best. It sent out its audio at a lesser sort of audio resolution bit rate than I would have liked. And also you need to record into an external device such as your computer or your phone. And while there are a lot of USB mixer apps, the official app didn't really work that well, so I, you had to go with a third-party USB mixer app, and that could get a bit sketchy, in all honesty. But yeah, went through that, but let me just do some things. Things are being done, okay. So yeah, that was just, just a bit sketchy, and I wanted to get a bit higher quality, and just wanted to upgrade my sort of recording setup, so I found this thing which is the Spire Studio. It is a sort of, it's made by Isotope, and it's sort of a whole music recording studio in a box. Like, you literally need this and only this to make music. And it's really cool, and I've had it for like a month now, and I just wanted to talk about it, because this is a really cool little device. So, you know, just the device itself, I'm gonna pick it up. I don't know how that's gonna affect the audio quality, because as you might have noticed, this thing has an onboard microphone right there. You can presumably hear that. So yeah, it has an onboard mic and that allows you to capture omnidirectional and from what I've seen so far, the audio quality is actually pretty good. This thing might make a pretty good thing for picking up acoustic instruments. And of course you have two, you know, combo quarter inch microphone in XLRs on the back. And you need to leave the first one open if you want to record on a microphone like this. If you plug in both, then the microphone turns off. So unfortunately, you can't record like two different instruments and the microphone at the same time. I'm not sure if there's some sort of hardware issue or if that can be fixed in a, you know, future update, but hopefully it can. But anyways, just want to talk about this thing. And just like, I love this thing because it's literally, you have this, you can record anywhere. This thing has a four hour battery life, if I'm not mistaken, it might be more. I'll, future me will put up a number if I am wrong and can record up to six hours of audio. And that's just great. That's just like excellent. So yeah, if you wanna sing and play an instrument, you can do that. Like if I wanted to sing, all I need to do is turn on my modular and there we go. I just, I'm not actually, I'm, don't, Jesus Christ, what the fuck. That's actually a pretty cool effect. I just plugged in cables in random places because I was trying to make a patch, but like, I've just been futzing around since I don't have my sequencer yet, but that's actually pretty. I might, I was planning on tearing this patch apart, but okay, all right. Okay, besides the point. Basically, this thing, you can like do vocals and talk and do like an instrument. Like if you're playing like, I don't know, electric guitar or something, you could do them at the same time. That's pretty cool. Or you can just plug in two different inputs and 
do that. Now, as for the software itself, let me grab my iPad, because while you can't, you can't technically do everything on the device itself. As you see, you have a button for a new song, you have a sound check button, I shouldn't have done that. You have a volume to check out the volume, like I can hit this. And I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but it does make this tone, which I'm guessing is just to show you how loud it is. If it could not make that tone when I'm actually recording, that would be great. But yeah, we got this. And there is also an app, which let me bring this up on my iPod Touch. So we have this Spire Studio app. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Probably not at all. Yep, Spire Studio, come on, turn on. Swear to God, if you need to update, right? Yep, there we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh boy, we need to update. Fucking phenomenal. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop this recording and come back when the download is updated. Seriously, today? The day I'm recording this? Okay, all right. Okay, so this seems to be working. Let's check over here on my modular. There we go. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the Spire Studio app. This is on an iPod Touch. I bought this used. It's the current generation. It's probably got this for a little less than 200 bucks. It's a pretty good little device. And um, yeah, but anyways, as you can see here, it's recording and just this is a cool little you know, application, you can do, you can futz with the mix, and why are you giving me a warning? Okay, yeah, but you can, like, no, oh, come on. Excuse you? Oh, I guess you can't do that while recording. Derp. And you got a metronome, and just, it's a cool little app, it gives you some minor editing options, you can... You know, put in some effects like delay and reverb, and you can do even a bit of minor mixing. And it's just a cool little tool, and it works quite well. Now, the thing I love about this, of course, is the whole wireless connectivity we got. Okay, you, you, you can be quiet now. You got some good wireless connectivity between the device and, you know, the Spire Studio. You can record both with and without it. You can do some minor editing. I haven't really done anything because I like to do everything in my modular, but I have fussed around with fussed around with it and it, the effects are pretty cool. They look they sound pretty nice. The mixing is pretty good if you're into that. And you know, this thing was made by Isotope, the people who made pretty much all of the best audio software, the stuff everyone uses and loves. So yeah, the app is functional. Well, no, the app let me rephrase that. When I first bought it, I was on Android. I was on an Android phone. I had a Galaxy Note 8, not the newest, but also not, you know, the previous generation. The Galaxy Note phones are pretty damn strong. If you know about in the specs of phone, they're pretty much some of the top tier, if not the top tier phones in the, you know, market. And the Android app for that is functional. It works. It is slow though. It takes, a lot of times in order to export or, you know, just export my audio just to like render it and get it ready for exporting oftentimes took twice as long, if not even more than the song I had just recorded. And in order to like um, get that onto my computer, there was no save to phone option. The only options I had were to send it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi direct to another device or to my computer and that oftentimes could take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour depending on the song and depending on how many tracks I put on there. It was infuriating. So I have this, this iPod Touch right here, which I bought partly, I will admit I partly bought it to use for the Spire Studio because I heard the Apple connectivity and usability was so much better, but partly because I ran out of space on my you know, phone for all my music, and since I have so much goddamn music, might as well buy a device to do that. And I have to admit, on the i in the oh god, on this app, if you have a, an Apple device and a Spire Studio, then I totally suggest you buy the Spire Studio if you're looking for a cheapish sort of recording studio solution. With 
on Apple, on iOS, this thing is amazing. The It renders the songs in fucking record time. You have so many options to send out your music. You can upload it to, like, you can upload it directly to SoundCloud. You can share it on Dropbox. You can upload it to your, you know, device. I was going to say phone, but of course this isn't a phone. It's just... The Spire Studio is a great little device if you're looking to get into recording. If you want something of good quality, if you want everything you need to start recording an external instrument, not software-based, but if you have, like, modular, I suppose if you have, like, an acoustic instrument, if you have, like, synths, like, hardware synths, and you want to record one or two you know, instruments, or you want to record, like, this thing can take up to eight tracks in a single song, and if you want to do that, that's great, or if, like me, you have a mixer in your modular, and you just want to plug it in and go in, it works perfectly. It is a fantastic thing. If you have iOS, this is a must-buy. If you're on Android, the app is functional, but it's going to take a fucking while, and there were more than a few times, like, I believe at one time, one of the reasons why I decided to buy my iPod Touch, besides the whole running out of space on my phone, was the fact that at one time, like, one out of every other audio project I tried to export would fail, and that was infuriating on a level that I don't think I can adequately express. But that being said, this thing is a phenomenal little tool. You've basically all of A10, all of the, um, all of my A10, what the fuck am I talking about? A2, Album 2, all of it was recording on Spire Studio, and I just love this device. It's portable, it has battery powered, it's literally, you plug it in, you turn it on, and you plug shit in, and it records it. And it records it well, and you can even do some minor editing and effects on the app itself, and it's just an incredible little box, and it's everything you need to start recording your music if you're using hardware stuff just fantastic little device totally recommend if you want to get into like recording your own music and stuff just great little thing okay um yeah i, didn't, I don't have much much else to say i was just wanted to gush about this thing for a bit and just talk about how good it is and it comes with a pretty damn cool good onboard microphone like this entire video has been recorded on the onboard mic and it sounds great so far so yeah you know, 5 out of 10 if you have iOS or an iOS connected device. And 3.5, 3.8 out of 10 if you're on Android. It's still functional. It's still good. I still prefer it to my Roll and Go mixer. But you're going to be waiting a while to get that music on somewhere else. Anyways, my name has been Juan John John. This is the Spire Studio. If you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, there's a button for that too. I'm going to be putting up a link to buy this thing if you want to buy it. It's going to be an Amazon affiliate link if that's... I think it's going to be an Amazon affiliate link. It might not be. I don't know if this thing is actually on Amazon. I would imagine so, but who knows. But yeah, that's going to be an affiliate link. So if you click that and you do make a purchase, then a bit of that purchase is going to go to me. Just wanted to let you know. Anyways... That's been me for the day. I'm also going to be doing a reviews of all of the modules I have in my modular so far and just giving my opinions. Well, not really reviews. I don't review anything. They're just going to be opinions and such. But yeah, if you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, well, there's a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Check out my pay, my links down below. I have a Bandcamp page where you can either download all of my music for free. Well, I say that, but it's... um. It's only, uh, they only have 200 free downloads on Bandcamp unless you reach a milestone of money made. So if you do that, then, you know, if you're quick enough, you can get my whole, all of my modular music for free. Also, all of my music before modular, I'm not giving that away for free. I would rather it disappear completely, but I made a promise to myself that I, if I put something up, I wasn't going to delete it because I hated it later or else I would eventually delete everything. So that's all there if you want to torture yourself, I guess. But yeah, that's besides the point. Um, the point being, I don't know what the point is. I'm just rambling at this bit. But yeah, you can, you know, download my music for free. I also got this whole subscription $3 a month thing where for 3 bucks a month, 
you get my music as it comes out a week early, plus you get a link to the video where I make it, so you can watch that a week early as well. Alrighty, that's been great. My name has been Juan John John, y'all have a nice day, and yeah, goodbye.